Your Royal Highnesses, Mr. Prime Minister, the Archbishop, members and leaders of the Belgian Senate and Belgian House, Minister Presidents, Governors, Mayors, Excellencies, members of the clergy, members of this amazing choir and orchestra, Mesdames, Messieurs, Dames and Herren, dear friends all. Today, today there are no tears. Vandaag, vandaag vloeien er geen tranen. Aujourd'hui, aujourd'hui, nous ne versons pas de l'âme. Of course, we shall remember them. We shall never forget them. Nous ne les oublierons jamais. We zullen ze nooit vergeten. Indeed, in the beauty of the music of this wondrous orchestra and choir, or in the silence of this glorious cathedral, can you not hear them? Can you not hear them? Can you not hear Patrice Brault, a 31-year-old Belgian whose only mistake was that he loved America enough to choose to work for a few years in our World Trade Center in New York. Can you not hear the nearly 3,000 others who perished that day, or those who fell victim in Bali or in Belfast, in Mumbai or Manila, or wherever terror has struck? If you cannot hear them, it is because you are listening with your ears. But on September 11th, on September 11th, we listen not with our ears, but instead with our hearts. And with our hearts, we remember them today for their lives, not for their tragic deaths. And in one's heart, stands on by om heleven, nid om hun trahisedot, and don no cour, Nous nous souvenons de pour la vie, par le mot, par le mot, le mot tragique. Today we remember the lives of parents who used to play ball with their children, whether it was cricket in Mumbai, or soccer in London, or baseball in Manhattan. Today we celebrate the lives of children who used to visit for Sunday dinner with their parents whether for curry in Lahore, Pakistan, or smoked salmon in Norway. And today we remember the 101 nearly 10-year-olds who were born that year in the following nine months, but who never got to meet their fathers. We shall indeed always remember the victims of terrorism anywhere it occurred. And today, Today we celebrate and pay tribute to the brave men and women who responded that day and to all those who have answered the call each and every day for the past 10 years. The call to help keep us all safe. The more than 2 million Americans who have answered that call, the thousands of Belgians, the hundreds of thousands of Europeans, and many more who answered the call, volunteering to leave their loved ones to join the military service aimed specifically at keeping all of us safe and free. And as we remember them all for their lives, our smiles now shine where tears once rained. You see, 10 years ago, we were many. Europeans or Belgians or Americans. We were Muslims or Christians or Jews. But today, following their evil, indeed from their evil, out of many, we have become one, the brotherhood of man. A crown prince and princess 
who not only spend this Sunday paying homage to our shared loss, but devote much of their time fostering the brotherhood of man. A prime minister, a cabinet of Belgian ministers who've always answered the call to combat terror in Afghanistan, and indeed who helped lead the global call to protect innocents in Libya. Firemen and policemen, teachers and students, Christians, Muslims, and Jews, we stand together. We stand united. Together we have no tears. Together we always seek justice, but we have no hate, no thirst for revenge. Together we are so much stronger than fear. We, stared with, we stand with a shared resilience and a passion, wedded to the principle that evil can only get smaller as the family of the Brotherhood of Man grows larger. So we smile today because we can focus in freedom and with optimism on tomorrow. We will indeed leave our children, the children of the Brotherhood of Man, with a better planet than the one we found. We may need to take our shoes off at airports, but together we will ensure that none will go shoeless. It will never be easy. Freedom and prosperity always take effort and sometimes even sacrifice. Understanding must always battle prejudice. Vigilance can never become commonplace. But as long as we fill churches in remembrance in Brussels, as long as we keep their memories in our hearts, as long as we watch for each other as the brethren we have become, we shall never fail. Thanks so much and all the best.